Two matches remain on Friday to determine the second semi-final at the BNP Paribas Open. Opening the session was world number two Novak Djokovic against the only unseeded player remaining, Julian Beneteau. It was a repeat of their first ever meeting, Djokovic's debut in Indian Wells as a teenager. He was beaten that day, but has never lost to the Frenchman since. Djokovic coming in. Beneteau was competing in just his second Masters 1000 quarter final, and he found it impossible to recreate the form that has seen him exceed his expectations this week. A set to the good after 28 minutes, Djokovic continued to create chances galore in the second. Oh, that's Djokovic at his defensive best. Beneteau had failed to get past the second round in his six previous outings this year, but he did put up some resistance as the match progressed. Oh, great yeah. reflexes from Beneteau. But the two-time champion was pacing himself in the searing conditions. With a total of 15 opportunities throughout the match, Djokovic simply had to make the breakthrough eventually. That's the power angle, as I like to call it. Everything turning to gold. Without facing a single break point, Djokovic reached the semi-finals in 68 minutes. 6-1, 6-3. Novak Djokovic with about as comprehensive a victory as he could have hoped for at this stage very focused on the court from the start and that's what I was looking for. Um, he made a lot of unforced errors and I've done everything I wanted. I'm on the right path and playing semi-finals which is always a, of course a challenge and a good result but I want to try to, to go as far as I, as I can. The final match of the round had big American John Isner up against 20th seed Ernest Gulbis for the fourth time. Isner won their last match on the hard courts of Valencia last year, but Golbis leads their head-to-head -head overall. Well, Golbis went right back at it. That was dangerous. Isner had never lost a Masters 1000 quarter-final in four previous attempts, and he was as solid as ever here. Drop volley from Isner. The leader in service games won this week, rather predictably wraps up another tiebreak. So John Isner wrestles that opening set away from Ernest Gulbis. Gulbis reached his solitary Masters semi-final in Rome four years ago, but he inflicted just a second yeah, record serve on Isner at the start of the second set. I got to admit, I didn't see that coming, Robbie. And the Latvian improved throughout as the deciding set loomed large on the horizon. Oh, what a backhand. But the American pounced just as Gulbis served for the set. And he has done it. Ernest Gulbis fails to close out the set. And new life for John Isner. Isner would return to the world's top ten with a flourish, setting up a rematch of his victorious last four clash with Djokovic in 2012. And Isner wins it on a backhand, and it puts him into the semifinals for the second time here in Indian Wells. This really situation, it, it bodes well for me. Playing against him in a big tournament on a hard court in the United States, it's, uh, it's a very good opportunity for me um, to be able to try to go out there and, and, and beat him. Um, I believe I can do it at the same time I know it's going to be extremely tough because he's one of the greatest players in the world.